Singing, by its very nature, is a language of emotion. It, it, it affects us. Throughout Scripture, we see examples of where music, just by itself, uh, uh, affects people. When David played the harp, the lyre, for Saul, Saul was affected by what he, what he played. We don't know if he sang or not, but he definitely played. Uh, Jesus one time referred to playing the flute and we didn't dance, uh, playing the lyre, we didn't mourn. Uh, he was in assuming that music is an emotional language. It's a wonderful thing. It enables us to uh, feel things even without words. Someone can play an instrument well with no words and will be affected. We'll feel peace or we'll feel excitement. And music has been used that way for, for thousands of years. When we sing, we combine music with words. And, and what's happening there is music is the vaguest way of communicating truth. It can't be clear on what the truth is because it speaks to our emotions, our affections. Words, on the other hand, communicate truth. They're the clearest way we have to communicate truth. And God, in his wisdom, put those together and called it singing. So when Christians sing, what's supposed to be happening is that we are meant to feel the truth. It's a wonderful experience when it happens. And here's how it happens. When the words we sing are rooted in God's word, they're drawn from the scripture, they're focused on Christ, they're driven by the, the realities of the story of scripture, and then this music is supportive of those words, corresponding to those words, appropriate for those words, then it enables us to feel the truth. Now here are the extremes that, that people get off into that, that are problematic and, and why we end up on one side or the other. Sometimes we, we sing so much truth and we don't care about the music that people get dull to it. It's, it's kind of like starting a fire. When you start a fire, you want to start with, with twigs, with small pieces of wood, and then gradually as the fire grows, you want to put larger pieces of wood on there. If you are constantly, or if you start your fire with just big pieces of wood, it's going to go out immediately. And that's what happens sometimes in churches where they sing very doctrinally sound, very solid, theologically rich, rich songs, but the music is either okay or, or people can't take it all in at one time. Uh, they end up feeling dry and dull rather than being inspired and drawn to Christ and God's glory. That's one extreme. But there's another extreme, and it's probably a re reaction to that, this first extreme, and that is that that people have a lot of emotion, a lot of affection. They're, more, they're, they're drawn to the emotions that music produces, and they don't worry so much about the words. They, they get excited. They get uh, you know, just kind of, woo, just kind of in awe. Um, they're moved by the music, and it's not really the truth that's driving those affections. It's just the sound of the band. It might be the sound of the drums, the sound of the guitar, the sound of the vocals, they, the, the atmosphere. It just, it just moves them. They might even be saying true things, Christian things, biblical things, but I'd call that emotionalism rather than emotion. Emotionalism is when we want to see people affected and not really be mindful of why they're affected or what that emotion produces. So in emotionalism, the truth is not so much the point. It's how the music makes me feel. It's why someone says, you know, I love this song, even though it, it doesn't say that much, I love the music to that song. So we're not really concerned about why uh, that emotion is being produced, and then we're not really concerned about the fruit it produces. Emotionalism produces a desire for more emotion. Biblical singing produces a desire to know Christ better, to know his word better. So there's a distinction, and we want to avoid both those extremes and make sure that when we choose songs, when we sing songs, I'd say even when we listen to songs, that we look for those that are rich in biblical truth, the word of Christ, 
the theology of Scripture, and as well have music that is complementary to those truths and enables us for the glory of Christ and for our good, good and our joy, they enable us to feel the truth.